Woo guys, thank y'all for joining me. This is Travis, your manufacturer, home nerd. I, it's a hot, hot day and I've been, this is my last home for River Lakes for a little bit. So y'all join me. Hopefully I don't speed through it too quick because I am ready to go get me some nice ice cold water. This is the Summit by Clayton Homes. I'm not quite sure of the size and I don't really know much about it, but I know that it said Southern Energy Homes and y'all know Clayton builds Southern Energy. So we're gonna check it out, see what this house looks like. Got a nice little entryway here, coming into a living room that is open. You know, you don't see very many closed off floor plans nowadays. So I guess saying open is almost redundant. And we do have our vents in the floor. I'm not sure if it's an option to put them in the ceiling. And it does look like this is wallboard. So let's consult our little handy dandy sheet and see what pricing looks like on this house. And this is a pretty big house that is only about 130,000 or so, maybe give, give or take five or $6,000. So that is not a bad price point, but it gives you some nice little features there, like a fairly big living room, the nice little accent wall there, cased opening here between the living room, kitchen and dining area, a lightly stomped ceiling, a large dining room. Like this is a eight seater that could easily be a 10 seater. And I think you could fit another four feet of table in there also has the patio door also aka sliding glass door nice little island here it's got the sink in it so if you're washing dishes or washing your hands you can still participate with the family that is not a blue dishwasher it is covered in plastic for shipping it is frigidaire frigidaire same with that it's not a blue refrigerator it is stainless steel so just keep that in mind same with the stove a smooth top Nope, not a smooth top, coil top stove. Some fairly large drawers on either side of the stove. So it's not just your normal drawers. You can fit some pot and pans in there, baking sheets, but also those weird like cups and stuff that people, I say weird, I use them. Everybody uses the measuring cups, but now you have room for them without them falling all over the place. Large cabinets, they are lined. That's always a plus. Check out the birth certificate real quick. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but built at Southern Energy Homes, does have some shutoff valves, PVC drops with PEX plumbing in the home. Now this sink is not a big farm sink, but it is fairly deep. Fit about half my forearm in it. So I can get the gumbo pot in there to fill it up. And the good news is you've got the extendable thing there too. A lot of storage around your refrigerator. So you don't have to go too far to get the box of cereal and the milk. A little butler's pantry over here, perfect for a coffee bar. Looks like it's got a little GFI outlet there. It's got the rocker switches, a nice little place for a coffee bar, hide your microwave, and even put some extra spices or some storage right here as well. But this leads into the laundry room, so it might be cleaning supplies you put there. Now off your back door here, is a little closet, coat closet. A lot of people coming in the back door nowadays into like a mud room. So where your washer and dryer is, you have the coat closet. You could easily use this as a locker area as well. Store some backpacks, school books, whatnot. And you have a small folding table here between the washer and the dryer. Now, that hallway there goes back towards the living room. We got some extra storage here. So look, before we skip it, got a little, is this a half bath or a full bath? Let's see. So it is a ceramic sink, metal faucet. So that's nice. Little cubby there for extra storage next to the taller and longer toilet, as well as your fiberglass shower. Is that fire? Oh, no. That. It's fiberglass base, but I believe it's plastic up around the top. So just keep that in mind. Now, going down this way, looks like a little flex space. I'm sure it could be made into another bedroom or a little sitting room. You got, an extra, you got a bedroom here with, I'm gonna say a half-eaten bed. I'm not sure. Um, 
Looks like they were in the process of filling out this room and your closet. I see something there I might like. I love pass, pass through a Jack and Jill bathrooms and it looks like we have one. There's your closet. So coming over here is another bathroom. There would be a door here. When the trim out happens, they'll put in a door jam and door. And you have another little sink area with a separate door there for tub and shower. So if somebody's using the bathroom, somebody else can come in and wash their hands or brush their teeth, get ready for the day. And it opens into bedroom number two or three. I'm not even sure what number we're on anymore. This bedroom is a little bit limited on how you would set up your beds because of that door there and the bump out here. But you do have your closet when you first walk in. So right before you leave in the morning, you can finish grabbing your coat. That is a large closet as well. Wire shelving. And then you have this extra little den space that's nice. So you got a flex space, like a study room. Could be a guest bedroom too. And then you have this extra den space for a couch, another TV, so the kids have their own little common areas. That's really nice. And then you got a public bathroom and then the other bathrooms private to the bedrooms. And then you got bedroom four. So four bedroom with den, with flex space, with living room. There's a lot of space in here. I'm starting to run out of breath talking so much. All right, let's go check out the master bedroom. It looks like they hadn't quite finished the trim out or found the storage space yet, but we're coming into a large master bedroom. Those boxes are easily bigger than a king size bed, so know that. You can put a king size bed in here, California King, and still have room for a chair, a vanity, and a dresser. It is a large space. And then coming in here, I'm not sure if that's gonna be an archway or what's going on here. I'll have to look up this floor plan and figure it out. Um, remember, it is the Summit by Clayton. So we're coming in, got almost a foyer area in your bathroom, which is not normal. And then you got dual sinks, storage area below, and some big drawers. I guess that'll help when you put away the rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. And good mirrors there. Unfortunately, y'all had to see me. I apologize for that. Got a nice little storage spot with a plug-in over here. I don't know if that's meant for a freezer, a vanity, so you can dry your hair, curl your hair, straighten your hair, whatever it is. Then you got the tub shower combo. Most likely they have an option to do just a shower, walk-in shower if you like. If not, that would be something that somebody could change out themselves later. And the larger, taller toilet. Here is your large closet. It is a walk-in closet. Doesn't look like there is a door for it. So the main consideration with that is you won't really have a problem with moisture as long as you're running your AC, but I would probably still hang a curtain or something there just to see it. I've been uh, pretty impressed with this floor plan. I've never got a chance to walk it before and I really kind of like the layout. I love that extra space that you have. It kind of gives it, you know, my wife might want to watch a murder mystery show. I might want to watch sports and my kid might want to play video games. I've got options to put a TV in almost every room and I love my coffee, so I got a, my own little coffee area. It opens into the utility, which goes right to that little flex space that I can make kind of like a man cave or an office. It's something I just really do like this floor plan. I'm gonna find out more about it if I can, but if you have questions about this floor plan, don't hesitate to reach out to me or River Lake Homes. They would love to hear from you. They are great people, wonderful and caring and super knowledgeable. Plus, they deliver their own home, so it makes scheduling a lot easier than other places. And don't forget to like and subscribe my videos. I'd love it if you follow me. I post at least two videos a week. This last few weeks, I've been a little inconsistent, but I still hit two videos. Just one's been a day later here or there. Had some phone troubles. That always is not fun. But if you have comments, I'd love to hear them. Good or bad, whatever you need, I'd like to hear it. And if you have any homes you'd love to see, let me know. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate you joining me. And of course, has happy home hunting. Have a great day.